Hello and welcome to this series on shell scripts. I hope you're enjoying this. Today we're going to be looking at how to find where certain commands are located. And if you work with the shell at all, you're probably familiar where the where with the where is command. I could type in something like where is nmap, and it will tell me right where the executable is. Any other files that might go along with it, such as the man file for the manuals. Another one I can do is where is, and I can say pwd and right here you can see that there's an executable pwd and there's a header file for programming in C you can use that and there's a man page as well but let's try another command where is and we'll try the read command the read command is a command that allows you to grab user input when we hit enter there it tells me where the man page for that is the files for the manual but it doesn't tell me where the executable is and that's because it is a built-in command uh, it's built into my shell which currently right now I'm at Z shell let's go ahead and uh, type in command dash capital V in the command command uh, you probably saw in a previous tutorial I did I briefly touched on it. it, does a few things like telling it to run an actual executable uh, rather than a built-in function which we did in a previous video. But here with the dash capital V uh, switch we can type in something like free and it tells me where the executable is but if we did one like read it's going to tell me that it's built into the shell. Another one we can do is command uh, capital V and we can do archive. Archive is actually a function that I created that is inside my Z shell RC file. So it will tell you whether it's a function. And if I was to create an alias, let's say I was to say I wanted to alias uh, the command year to date plus percent y. Now anytime I type in year it's just going to tell me what year it is. But if I command dash capital V year it will tell me that year is an alias for this command. So, so far it will show us uh, where an executable binary is, whether it's a built-in command, whether it's a function within uh, like my RC file, uh, or if it's a alias. Let me go ahead and clear the screen here real quick. Let's create a function right here in this session. Uh, let's say I wanted to create an epoch command uh, for getting Unix timestamps and I can just do in here date plus percent s. Now anytime I type in epoch it's going to give me the number of seconds since 1970. Uh, so that's great. Now if I use command dash v and the epoch command you can see that it's going to tell me that it is a shell function. Last time it told me with the archive command that it was a function that was in my RC file, so I know right where it is. Here I know that it's a function that has been run in the current session. And if I was to start a new session, uh, like so, and I type in epoch, it's not going to work. And if I was to uh, run this, it's going to say command, command not found because it was in this session. Uh, so that is the command command and you might wonder where does the command command live? <laughs> and the, you can run it on itself and you can see that it's built into the shell. And as I mentioned in the previous, uh, previously in this video, I'm running Z shell which is my default shell. But if I was to start up bash, the command command is built into bash as well. And so I can use it just as I did before within bash. Now let's look at another command that does something similar and that would be the type command. So again example type dash A instead of capital V and we can type free and you can see again it does basically the same thing. Let me go ahead and go man uh, oh that's not gonna work that's actually next tutorial. Uh, <laughs> and I can do type dash A archive and again, it's going to tell me the same thing that command command does. And don't get confused. Again, we're working in a Linux shell. If you're in Windows, type is a completely different command. Now, I haven't worked with Windows in years, but back in the day, and I'm pretty sure it still is, type is basically like the cat command. If you wanted to output a file, uh, you would type type and the name of the file. And of course, just like the command command, I can say command type A and type in type, and it tells you it's a built-in command. And you can type in type A or type dash a command and you can also run command on type so that is the command and type and we're going to look at this a little bit more in the next because they are built into the shell 
So is that going to always work for us if we're working with different shells? That's what we'll talk about in the next video or in a coming video. I've got a few more things on this topic. So I do hope you're enjoying these videos. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, um, and uh, visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There is a link in the description of the video there. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. You can also support me there. In the sports section, there's a link to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000, and also a, a, a PayPal link. If you like to support me that way, if you can't support me that way, think about sharing, liking, comments, subscribing. All that stuff helps out a great deal. I do thank you for watching. hope you found this useful, and I hope that you have a great day.